Hello. So I've been uh, playing around with uh, Actmel microchips, um, the AT80 AT Mega 8, and um, about five years ago I designed and built, uh, prototyped a PCB with um, four seven segment um, LED displays. Um, and the PCB simply multiplexes them um, with uh, BC547 uh, NPN transistors. Um, and it's just, just a straightforward uh, multiplexing. It's not uh, Charlie plexing, which is uh, which has certain advantages. Um, as you can see on my laptop here, I've uploaded the AVR seven segment uh, LED project to GitHub. And there is a firmware folder, and you will find uh, my firmware there. Um, so to get started, um, we will launch my editor, which is Vim, and just to give you uh, a quick run through of. Let me uh, make this. So that you can see straight away a quick run through of what this program is all about um, simply um, in the beginning there are some definition files uh, for uh, AVR libc um, our GCC compiled uh, program itself um, these are some definitions here I have set up uh, character maps based on the uh, seven segment uh, displays, um, prototypes, and um, I'm using interrupts. Um, you really should use interrupts whenever you can. Um, so these are the two interrupt um, ISRs, interrupt service routines. One is for the 8-bit timer, um, which refreshes the display. And there's a 16-bit timer, which right now I'm actually not using, uh, but I just left that in for the moment. Um, and down here I set up all the uh, peripheral initializations, um, the ports, um, and here it's essentially setting up both um, timers. Um, and then we enable um, the global interrupts. Um, and then the main program is simply, it calls the initialization, which I showed you above. Um, and then it says infinite loop as in all uh, all microcontroller programs you'll find that the main the main core of the app is always sitting in the infinite loop um, and here um, there are a couple other methods where um, I'm essentially tracking the 16-bit timer um, for um, one hundredth of a second and every time it reaches one hundredth of a second uh, I simply increment the counter um, and then there's the draw display, the get digit, which essentially maps uh, a number to the character map and some other functions. Um, so simply I will just go, come, get back here and I will just do make flash, which is what will, the make file will trigger AVR dude. And this simply programs um, the chip. Um, now I'm going to remove my camera one second and take you to the circuit board and let me reset it and then you can see how it starts and again we're suffering from focusing problems this is There we go. So you can see the circuit. It's uh, it's got um, the eighty mega um, it's got 
um, decoupling caps just to, in, in indication LED which is actually tied to uh, port B0 um, there's a reset switch and the bunch of wires you essentially see are just wiring up the uh, 12 um, 7 segment lines to the microcontroller I'm using 4 pins on port D and 8 pins on port B um, and if you use the uh, Charlie plexing you can get it, get it down to I believe 7 or 9 wires um, instead of 12 and right now it's just simply um, counting up um, and there you have it thanks for watching